Day of the week. Bill, you often talk about conspiracies. Yes, I do. Um, this may or may not fall into that category, but it definitely pisses me off. I love this guy already. I don't know if this is a conspiracy, but it fucking pisses me off. Eyeball to eyeball with you so far, buddy. All right, I get my cable and internet service bundled together from Time Warner. Last month with my bill, I got an, ins uh, an insert stating that they were modifying their privacy policy. Basically, it states Time Warner reserves the right to distribute my internet content with or without my consent. From my understanding, this could mean anything from the searches I requested from Google to the websites I have been to. What rights do we have in this country anymore? Just venting. All right, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Basically, what they've been doing the entire fucking time since the beginning of the internet is now becoming legal. So for all you people out there who always thought like, uh, like I love when you watch like those, those talk shows and they talk about um, sexting, like your, your, your text messaging, you know? I want to fuck you from behind, whatever. Why that's sexy, I have no idea. You know, do you think their thumbs tremble? But whatever, I'm not going to judge. Or like they, they talk about Skype sex. And they'll be like, why do these people do this? Why would somebody who would never, and they always bring a psychologist on, right? And they always have a beard so you know that they majored in psychology, right? And <laughs> then they go, they always say the same shit. And they'll be just like, well, it's the... Uh, anonymity of it they 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 feel anonymous and, and in that situation they, they 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 do things that they normally wouldn't done well first of all people it's not anonymous you dumb fucks it isn't they just saying it's anonymous they just said it well, you don't think that they're building a file on you it's all these fucking morons who've lived the life of the straight and narrow get on skype and they stick their junk right in the camera you're an idiot you're done you're already done because they, they, they're building robots right now to, re, to fucking replace all of us. And what did you... And, but they're going to keep some of us because somebody's got to oil their fucking robot joints. And what did you do? You stuck your dick in the camera. You, you processed. It's over. It's over. You got to take the driver's test. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even study. You're fucking finished. You're going to get processed just like those people in that fucking movie with that guy who just died. I can never remember the name. What's the name of the Patrick Swayze was in it? Blood Force Thunder. New America. What the fuck was it called? Here come the Russians. Pissing the radiator. All that all that hatred's gonna 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 eat you up. Keeps me warm. Remember that? Ed Bagley Jr. was in it? No, he wasn't. The fucking uh the kid who was in Soul Man was in it. And he shot his friend. Avenge me! Come on. Red Dawn! Jesus Christ, Brian, you're a fucking director. Do you get that, man? When, when you get like you that panic, that brain panic? Okay, you just got it? Okay, good. I thought it was only me. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, know this, people. If you want to watch porn, like porn, the porn industry is fucking, is going through what the music industry is going through right now, where all of a sudden the shit just became free. All right? So now everybody's fucking whacking off on the internet thinking nobody's watching what you're fucking rubbing your shit out to. They're all watching, and they're building a fucking file. All right? You think already... Haven't you noticed why the presidents keep getting worse and worse, and they keep fucking getting on their knees and blowing the banks more and more? It's because of the internet. All they got to do is break out their internet file and show them some of the shit that they know that they jerked off to, and it's It's over! It's fucking over. You got to do everything that they're going to say or they're going to expose you. They don't even need to take you to Dallas anymore. That's old school. That's why Kennedy got shot in the head. If there was an internet, he'd still be walking around talking right now. Cutting the ribbon at his fucking library. Shit in his pants. He would have gave the eulogy at Fathead Ted's fucking funeral. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what I'm saying. Okay, if you want to jerk off to something freaky, I would say go to a porn store and just deal with the fact that the guy behind the counter is going to know what you got. Pay cash and walk away. It's a done deal. But if you're going to go on the Internet <laughs> and do some of the shit that you're doing, all you can hope now is that you're going to get lost in the shuffle. Actually, you can continue to do what you're doing as long as you never try to affect, if you never try to effectively effect change. You know what I mean? That's, that's when they break out your internet file. Other than that, it just goes on a fucking database. But the second you start a movement going, you know what, dude? 
I'm sick of paying 25 bucks for my first bag when I get on a plane. If you get enough people behind you, United will now go to Time Warner and be like, yeah, Russell Johnson. Yeah, open his file. What is he jerk? What's the most fucked up thing he's jerked off to? <laughs> that is the end of the movement. Because then Fox News will get it, and they'll just be like, it turns out Russell Johnson jerked off to a tranny and a midget last week. This was the guy who's going to lead us? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm doing Glenn Beck. That fucking guy. Jesus Christ. I respect those guys because they're in show business. I just wish... Maybe, maybe they can't admit that they're in show business. It's like wrestling. For the longest time, they couldn't say that it was fake. But now, you know, at some point, come on, just say, look, we're doing fake news. We know, we know who's going to win in the end of this shit. Oh, no, it's all horrible. All right. Um, the next thing. Oh, here's a great story for you. Brian, you might like this. Do you know I was a hero this week? I was actually, I did something heroic. I have never, I have never done anything heroic in my life. Okay? And believe me, I've walked by house fires and saw people screaming, saying, there's a ladder right there. Just put it up. And I walked away. I walked away. Sounded like I didn't hear him. I'm that kind of a fucking guy. Um, no, this is the deal. It was uh, Sunday. And, you know, people go to brunch on Sunday. I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'll go to brunch. I'll go to brunch, right? Remember that bit? Huh? Pays eighteen dollars. Is that asbestos? Is, it, is that asbestos? How did that bit go? Is that asbestos? I thought it was pesto. It's asparagus. I can't even remember. So we go to brunch, and uh, you know it's the usual shit. Do you want to sit inside? You want to sit out outside? As a redhead, I'm always going inside. Let's fucking sit inside. I got enough freckles. I've had enough fucking pain in my life. Please, <laughs> let's sit inside. Now, but you know I'm always with broads because they always want to go to brunch. Let's sit outside. It's so nice. It's always fucking nice when they go to brunch. It's never raining, is it? Right? So, all right, let's sit outside. So we, we sit outside. And because I'm the gentleman, I have to sit with my back to the road so I can brace, you know, and protect my girlfriend and her mom in case a bread truck comes flying in because the guy's text messaging or something, right? So I'm sitting there, and uh, all of a sudden I just feel it. I just feel like something's fucking wrong and something. My caveman DNA, like when you get stalked by a saber-toothed tiger, just kicks in. And something just tells me to fucking look left. And I look left, and here comes this crazy fucking lady. And I'm talking crazy. I'm talking Shutter Island. You remember that chick that shushed Leonardo DiCaprio? Is that the second Leonardo DiCaprio fucking reference? There you go. You remember that chick who shushed him in Shutter Island? That's what this girl looked like, except with sort of brownish red hair, okay? It's basically one of these people who should be getting professional help. It's straight up batshit crazy, and uh, this just this state is bankrupt, so they just let him go. They just let these fucking people go. You don't see Sarah McLaughlin whining about these people. Come out and rescue these fucking, these, these people who are talking to telephone poles. It's all about the dogs with her. Her priorities are so fucked up. It's ridiculous. I hope she sees this. I am so disappointed in you, Sarah McLaughlin. Huh? When are you gonna grow up and stop whining about those little pussy-ass fucking dogs? All right, that was me. All right, let's get back to it. So she starts coming down the street, and she's like, she looks like she's gonna start fucking crying. Okay? Like, and it's just one of those things. You know, you just feel it. this fucking person's gonna do something, and I have a feeling they're gonna do it to me. So. I, I'm, I'm working out my shit. I'm like, for, fortunately, the chairs were these really light wicker, sort of kind of douchey, brunchy chairs. So I was just going to grab the fucking chair, and I was going to smash her in the face if I didn't have time. Or if I had time, I was going to leap to my feet on my bad fucking foot and out like a lion tamer. Ah, get back, crazy person, right? <laughs> Start whipping her with the fucking tulips on the nice, beautiful brunch table. That's what I was going to do. So she... Doesn't lunge at me, but she walks by me. There's that awful moment, the blind spot. You know what I mean? Where she's not to my left, she's not to my right, she's right behind me, and she fucking goes by me. And I'm like, thank God. Like, I was seriously fucking nervous. And I look left again, just to, you know, I don't know why. I look left again, and then I see this fucking sad looking woman slowly following the crazy person with this look on her face like she had been wronged. I didn't, uh, next thing I know, Next thing I fucking know, she's talking to the table next to us and talking to us, talking about how that crazy woman had just walked up to her, reached up to her sweater, and just fucking ripped. 
I don't know if she had a brooch. She just fucking took it off her chest and walked away with it. And I'm looking at the lady, and she has the lady, and she has this fucking hole in her sweater where something had clearly been ripped off. And for the life of me, I don't know why. I immediately just got up. I don't know why. I have no fucking idea why. I, what the fuck? I don't do this shit. I get up, and now I'm going down the street following the Shutter Island lady with no training whatsoever in this situation. I'm literally walking, and now I couldn't sit down. I couldn't get sit down. Like, I, I have this, this fucking Lee Marvin, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make shit right moment, and then I go, you know what, maybe I'll sit down. I look at the biggest pussy ever, and not only is my girlfriend there, my mother's there. So I had to keep going. So now I'm following this girl, and I'm literally... <laughs> I'm f I've never been so fucking nervous in my life because it would have been bad enough if, we, if it was like a crazy dude. A crazy guy is scary, but at least you know if, if, if it gets physical. I mean, what, what, are, what are the rules in that? Do you know? Brian, what are, you know, you can't hit a woman, but what if she's crazy and she just stole a brooch? How about a jab? Just kind of get her mitt in the face like Larry Holmes so she doesn't see the overhand right gun. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know what to do. So, but I can't go back to the table where I'm going to look like a bitch in front of my girlfriend and my mom. So I'm like, fuck, why did I get up? Why did I get up? Why didn't I just, why didn't I say sit inside? I wanted to sit inside, but I didn't want to seem like a rude prick in front of my girlfriend's mom. Like I tell her what to do. Like she's this kept fucking woman. So now I'm in this situation. So I'm walking down the street and this is what I do. She's on the sidewalk. I'm literally in the street. Okay. I'm like. Is that circumnavigation? I'm doing some police shit where I'm staying outside of whatever she can throw at me, scratching. It's one of these people, you got to get like a tetanus shot if you roll around the ground or hepatitis or some shit. So I'm like, what am I going to do? What do I do? So I don't know what happened. I just said, I, <laughs> I basically, I just started going, hey, uh, hey, sweetheart. Hey, sweetie. I, I, I basically, I think I started calling her affectionate names from like the 1940s. Hey, uh, <laughs> fucking tall drink of water. And I finally got her attention. And she turns around and looks at me with this crazy look with tears in her eyes. And I just say, uh, I, I, I think you have something that doesn't belong to you. And meanwhile, there's a fucking pathetic lady who just let her walk up to her to begin with. It's like, he didn't see that she was crazy. That's why I'm in this situation, right? She fucking, she ends up walking up to the girl. And the, when I said, I think you have something that doesn't belong to you, she just sort of looked at me like in slow motion, lifted up her left arm. And she had this green pea soup looking sweater on. And she had the brooch pinned to like just right around her wrist. And she just held it up. So at this point, I'm like, I'm not touching this bitch. <laughs> so I let the, the, the fucking victim lady with the sad puppy dog eyes, she comes in. And I'm basically sitting there like an NHL ref with respect for two goons that are about ready to go at it. Right? And I'm just going to jump in when I see that I can jump in to stop this, this fight that's going to happen without getting hit myself. And uh, so anyways, the lady starts un unpinning the brooch. And the whole time, she's, she basically followed my lead by being nice. She just kept going, thank you, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate this. And she couldn't get the fucking thing off. It was like one of those action movies where like, the clock's going down for the bomb. And I'm sitting there going, lady, in my head, I'm like, would you get that fucking brooch off this crazy bitch's arm and I just kept looking at her right hand because I knew at some point she was either going to gouge her eye out just do some crazy shit right like you know the, the scrap metal that these people put, pick up and floss their teeth with she was just going to stick her right in the jugular so finally long story short she gets the fucking brooch off and then we, we, we back away it was like a uh, Exchange like we like we gave some money briefcase and we got the, the abducted kid back and we fucking walk away And I'm like, oh fuck. Thank God. Thank God that worked out. And I actually walked back to the to the brunch All right walk back to the brunch and I got a fucking applause break From like all these people eating eggs Benedict and eggs Florentine. It was fucking awesome. I Was a goddamn hero this week people a scared nervous fucking hero Dude, I'll tell you Brian. I didn't come within seven feet of this woman.